Okay, today's the day I pull the trigger on a new motorcycle. No ifs, ands, or buts. No more BS talk. I'm getting a bike today, but I want to look around one more time because maybe there's a bike that I'm overlooking that could be the one. But I'll tell you, everywhere I go, a Yamaha MT-09 or FZ-09 pops up. It could be a sign. I don't know. Ducati Scrambler's looking proper there. Suzuki Jigsaw, should I get another Super Sport? I don't know. It's been a while. Hey, Harley Davidson Fat Bob, mix it up. That'd be cool for the channel. I think that's a new Honda Goldwing, man. That thing looks pretty sick. I'd know what I want. Sorry to hold up. I've no, been... no, my compliments on your taste for motorcycles. I've been around oh. 53 years. That's one of my favorite bikes. Let's go for a ride. Hey, man. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through <laughs> yeah buddy <gasps> Cycle Cruiser went ahead and pulled the trigger and got a brand spanking new motorcycle. That is absolutely awesome. As I wanted to mention, make sure you're wearing an airbag vest to help keep you safe out there. I mean, that can help save your life. I have a link to this airbag vest and all my other gear, including my ultra lightweight helmet with auto tent shield that I absolutely love. I have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my videos. Okay, now mind you, I've had you know all of the different types of engines except for one type of engine. You know, I've had the single cylinder, I've had the twin. I had the V4, the inline four. So I think you probably know what this is. <laughs> Without further ado, BAM! Brand new 2020 Yamaha MT-09, baby. MT-09, baby. Woo. That's looking proper. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. All oh, black, baby. Blacked out. Yeah, check it out. Zero miles. Look at that. On Sunday, I'm going to do a first ride, um, do full power, everything. I'm going to really test this bike out. You know, I'm going to do a hard break in like I do with all my bikes. <laughs> Even though you're not supposed to, but I've never had a problem. And uh, man, so stay tuned for that. I've got so many videos I'll be doing on this bike, guys. And a lot of you guys call this like super moto-ish. In my opinion, I don't think it's a, it's nothing like a super moto, in my opinion. That, that's a real super moto, guys. This, this is not a super moto any way, shape, or form. Oh, oh, look at that. I like that. A lot of you guys are like Cycle Cruise. You should have got the XSR 900. It looks better. It looks better to you because you're probably a millennial that likes those old school looking type of bikes. I like the new school looking type of bikes. I don't want to be riding a bike that looks old, man. <laughs> but to each his own. I think this is better looking. But I've got all kinds of mods I'll be doing to this, guys. I got a, a full a Kropovich exhaust coming, probably the carbon version, of course. And um, I'm going to have an awesome fender eliminator kit, get rid of this crap, and put the, the, one, the plate where it's down here in the back, and have a uh, tail light with integrated turn signals, um, get rid of these big whopper turn signals. These are horrible. What was Yamaha thinking, man? Uh, yeah, get rid of those sap suckers. I'm not going to get the little micro ones, obviously. I want people to see me turning, but I'll put some better looking ones than that. 
Uh, maybe put a little uh, fly screen here and um, probably do some uh, barring mirrors here possibly like I did with the Aprilia Tuono. Um, I, I obviously, I've got a tuner. I got a special tuner coming, guys, from, um, you know, it's a new type of Power Commander deal. It's awesome. It flashes the ECU, and you can load different maps on there. I've got that coming. I've got all kinds of stuff I'm going to be doing in this bike, man. It's going to be proper. I'm not going overboard, man. I'm just really just tasteful mods. But we got to get some sounds. I'll tell you guys, this bike sounds absolutely, it's awesome in stock form, in my opinion. It's just too quiet. But it's one of the best sounding, you know, stock bikes. Like the XD Avail sounded pretty good stock. Uh, but too quiet, you know. And we want to get the full, full power out of this bike with the full exhaust and the new tuner that I'm, I'm that's coming. So it's gonna be pretty sick, man. I love this color design, though. That's that's sick, man. It's all blacked out except for the rear sets, of course, here. Even the, look at this, the rear uh, passenger pick bracket here, um, blacked out. I like that. Too bad they didn't make this black. Um, awesome. Really cool looking bike. Look at that. It's like a matte, matte black, man. That's nice. I know some of you guys are thinking Cycle Cruise should have got the blue, the Yamaha blue. So you'll have a matching, matching bikes. No, I don't want two of the same looking type of bikes, man. I want something totally different. You know, I don't want matching bikes. That's lame, man. <laughs> well, I gotta have the black out. Yeah, looking proper. Yeah, the first ride's coming up and I'll go over all the stuff that I initially like and dislike about the bike, maybe even and, and do some videos comparing it to the Aprilia Tuono, you know, V4 1100 factory, even though that's a liter bike and this isn't technically a liter bike, but it's still, I consider them kind of semi super naked. I can compare the two. I'm, a, I'm going to compare the two and also compare it to the XD Avail too. It's just as far as the power delivery. You guys uh, did right by telling me to get this, man. It was a tough decision between the MT-07 and this bike. I was I was very very close to getting the MT07, but the reason why I decided not to is because this has some more better premium components. It's got even though some of you complain about the the rear shock on the the newer bike, um, it still got the fork is pretty decent. It's where the F uh, the MT07 suspension is is you know subpar. So th this has a better suspension. They say just for the suspension upgrade alone, you should go with the MT-09. At least that's what they say. Uh, one thing I really love about the MT-07 is uh, the sound of the MT-07. When you put an aftermarket exhaust on, it sounds proper. I think it sounds better than this bike, in my opinion. Um, this bike sounds pretty good, but the, 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 uh, the twins sound better to me. Uh, like that L twin engine on that Ducati XD Avail. Oh, baby. Ah, baby. Oh, ah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Absolutely awesome. Uh, but it was very, it was close, guys. But I know if I'd have got the MT-07, which there's so many people that have done a million videos. People have done a lot of videos on this bike, too. Um, but I'm giving my perspective. It's, it could be different from a lot of other people's perspective. And so, hey, guys, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this bike. You think this is a cool choice or not? I'd love to hear from you. I'll be talking with you in the comments. So uh, keep those comments coming in. And don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. And also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.